What's up guys? You guys know by now that I love the Rovi Von Aurora flashlights. They are kind of a new player on the scene, but they made a killer product. It's super small, super bright, and it's barely there. And yes, Rovi Von has sponsored my channel at a time, and uh, this is not influenced by them at all. I wanted to show you guys the differences in all the models. They did provide this. This is for my monthly giveaway, so they sent five different flashlights, but this isn't all the flashlights that they make. This is only five of the six Aurora flashlights. I've got the six one over to the side. So they come in different colors, different models, different materials. So I wanted to show you guys all the differences in all the Rovi Von Aurora flashlights. So here we are again talking about Rovi Von flashlights. They come in a bunch of different colors, materials, and versions, which that might not be totally clear what all the different versions do. So I want to clarify that with this video because the interfaces are different on some of them. The specs are mostly the same on all of them. So I wanted to shed some light on that. First, for starters, I will disclose my personal favorite out of all of them is the titanium version. And not necessarily just because it's titanium. Honestly, it looks more like stainless steel than titanium. It's just robust. It's built like a tank. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me. And this personally is my favorite of the Rovivon flashlights. So here we go. These are the Rovivon Aurora flashlights in all the different model numbers. So naturally, let's start with the Rovivon Aurora A1. And that is the polycarbonate bodied version. This comes in many different colors. It is a matte finish polycarbonate and it feels nice. It feels just fine and it comes with a stainless steel bezel. The A2, pretty much the exact same thing. You do get more ridges here on the side for positions for the side clip, whereas this one you have two, this one you have five. So that is one of the key differences with the stainless steel version is you do have more positions for your side clip both of these have the same exact interface. The A3 is the one I originally bought for the video. This is the anodized aluminum version. It also comes in many different color options and so does the stainless steel. I didn't mention that, but it comes in different colors as the stainless steel and so does the anodized aluminum. Again, just like the polycarbonate, the A1, you only get the two side slots for your pocket clips. Next up is the A4 titanium and this one also comes in different coating options. This is the black coated, but you also have the option of the, the raw titanium. And these also come with or without the luminous vials in the side. And uh, this one has them in there, this one does not. So you can get it without if you don't want those luminous vials, but they do just help you locate it in the dark. And then the fifth and final model number is the Rovivon Aurora A5. And this is a polycarbonate body as well, but it's luminous. You still get that stainless steel bezel. You still get those pocket clips as well, but with this one, you get a hidden feature and a totally different interface. Just to clarify, all four of these Rovivon flashlights have the same interface and the luminous body has its own interface. And I wanna show you some improvements that have been made. This is the original A3 that I bought and used in the video. My girlfriend has been using it on her keychain. I wanna show you something. So this is the new and improved A3. You have to press and hold to turn it on and see how quick that turns on? Split second and then hold to turn off. Here's the original. This is one of the biggest complaints I had after using the original for a little over a month. You see how long that takes after you press to turn on and off? It's two seconds almost. So that is one of the improvements they made is they made that turn off and on time much faster, much more responsive, and it just makes the whole experience much better. So the old ones, if you're wondering whether you should upgrade your old one, um, maybe that's really the only major difference is how much time it takes to turn on and off. And that is kind of a frustration that I had was that lag time between pressing the button to turn on and off. Now it's really quick. And the same goes for all these models. The A1, pretty quick on and off. The A2, quick on and off. A3, obviously quick on and off. And the A4, quick on and off. All the same. And to cycle through your modes, you just turn it on and click. 
to cycle through your modes. And it starts on the low mode when you click to turn it on. The next click is high mode. The next click is medium and then strobe. So that is probably my least favorite thing about the interface on these Rovivons is that they default to the low mode, which is fine, but it doesn't go low, medium, high. It goes low, high, medium. And that's just bizarre to me. The Aurora A5 has an interface all on its own. If you click and hold, it goes straight to turbo mode and it's a momentary on. So when you let go of the switch, it turns back off. However, to turn this light on, you double click and it's on and clicking will still cycle you through the different modes. And this one, when you cycle through, it's low, medium, high, strobe. Just like it should be. A double click to turn on and hold to turn off. However, if you want to activate that side light, you have a side light that lasts for a pretty good while. Triple click and you have a really low lumen side light. And you can click and it will blink with an SOS, sort of. It's more of a signal, not an SOS. And click again and it goes back to this. Hold to turn off. If you notice, this one just went from, from solid to blinking. That means this is the UV light. So ultraviolet light, side lamp, quadruple click. Four clicks gets you to the ultraviolet. And you can immediately see the difference in the reflection off the table. And uh, it's got a blue glow on my fingers, which I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And when you turn this off, that whole thing starts to glow. I'm not sure which one of these is which because they both look the same. Easiest way to tell is to just click the buttons three times and click again. So there's your red side lamp and this one is the ultraviolet. So we already have one of those on the table. Move that to the side. So your differences are that. One is a red side lamp and one is ultraviolet. And you can just see all kinds of stuff with that ultraviolet light on. It makes things glow. It's really, really cool. And the only thing that would be in question really is your run times on the side lamps and the white reading light and the ultraviolet light. And this is gonna be about the same for all of your Rovivon Aurora flashlights. 15 lumens, 180 minutes, 230 lumens, 55 minutes, 550 lumens, 38 minutes, which not sure about that. These, these are very um, generous runtime numbers. Flashlights, the UV or the red side light are the same. So four lumens, 10 hours with that side light on this mode. That's just your standard side light mode. So about 10 hours, the white flash 30 hours. So just, oh yes, that is another major difference between these. The ultraviolet has a white flash. The red side lamp has a red flash and those are different. One has the red flash only uses one LED and this one uses two. Totally forgot about that difference. The white flash on the ultraviolet will last for 30 hours at four lumens. The red is 0.8 lumens for 28 hours. And then finally, so red is 630. That is not lumens. I don't know what the NM is, but that is 14 hours. UV is 365, so about half the brightness. And uh, it'll only last for about one hour with that UV light. That thing is very draining. You only get it for about an hour. And just for comparison's sake, I'm going to throw a few other flashlights out here to show you the size difference. So this is the i3T EOS. Of course, that's the copper version. This is the S1R2 baton. So it's a little shorter than the S1R2, but much, much narrower. It's actually narrower than the i3T EOS. And you're getting about 550 lumens out of it, which is about half the maximum output of the S1R2 baton but you're also getting a much smaller runtime. And the probably the most directly relatable flashlight from Olight is the i1R EOS. And of course, this one is much dimmer, only about 120, 180 lumens, somewhere in that ballpark with much smaller runtimes. So I hope that can help you. So I, can, so I hope that helps you pick out which Rovi Von Aurora flashlight you would prefer, or if anything else, just shed some light on all the differences in between them, because some of the differences are small, some of them are notable, like the small ones would be the different notches in the sides on the stainless steel version over all the others. And the big ones are the differences in the interface, like the, the luminous body ones. Personally, my favorite interface, of course, I don't need the triple click or the quadruple click on the side if I'm using a titanium one, but I would much prefer the titanium version to have that double click on cycle through and then hold to turn off just because these go from low to high to medium and then back off. 
So that's really my only major complaint about these flashlights at all. I've not had any other issues with them. Anyway, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to help support the channel and you're interested in these flashlights at all, use the links in the description down below, or you can go to the Roe Vivon website, also linked down below, and use my coupon code BESTMEDC for 10% off your purchase. Another way to support what we do here is by going to patreon.com forward slash BESTMEDC. There you can pledge different tiers. Some of the features include being able to join a private Discord channel over in the Discord, being able to do live Q and A's with me that are private to Patreon only subscribers, and many other things, such as exclusive coupons and custom t-shirts. So be sure to go check that out and follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestAmEDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And until next time, carry on.